So what does that then imply? If that's the case, then this is it. Earth. We are the only people. Because then you say, oh, what a waste. There's no waste. Those are just bits, a single bit that tells you how bright it is and where it's located. Four bits, three positions, one of intensity, and that's it. Maybe a couple other for the Doppler effect, and it's moving, and it's accelerating, and so on. But that's all you get. It's not there. And when, you, when daylight comes, it doesn't have to compute any of it. When a guy gets out his telescope, it has to compute what he sees. Random draw, that's what he sees. Good. Stop doing it. Turned off his telescope. Nobody's looking at it anymore. Then you don't have to compute it anymore. So it's not a big waste of anything. It's a virtual reality. It only computes what's functional. Okay. And it, and it only needs so many seats. Now, if you had a another planet someplace in this unit, the whole universe is its game. You know, the game is the universe, not right. just our solar system. If you wanted another planet, and it also had 9 billion people, and another one, and it had 9 billion people like uh -huh. us. Now you've got you know, 27 billion people. Is that good? Or is, or is that, if you pass that sweet point, it seems to me there really isn't a lot of use for many more. Only so many individuated units of consciousness optimize the system growing. But how can learning. we possibly know what that number is? And how, why would we discount the idea that if it's happening here and then it's beneficial and that we're on a path that it can't be happening in infinite spots in the universe? Well, because simultaneously, it, because that takes infinite resources. But doesn't the universe have infinite resources if it has no. hundreds of billions of galaxies, black holes bigger than our entire yeah. solar system? All this right. observed. Right. That's all observed. But are we looking at it on a limited number of data points? Are we looking no. at a limited number of it's, possibilities? Yeah, no, that's not the point. The point is, is it's all virtual. It's all in the virtual. You're, so you're, you're of the opinion that all these physical things are somehow or another virtual. Consciousness is the thing that creates all of this. We're going through a virtual experience through consciousness. We're an avatar of consciousness, but mm -hmm. we're the only avatars of consciousness, and there's not well, avatars of consciousness that exist on other planets? Well, there may be. I'm not saying that's not a possibility. I'm just saying if you look at this, the cost-to-benefit curve, any system that's a self-changing system is going to have a sweet point where scaling up anymore costs more than, than the benefit. Tom, if you would take it away, just kind of explaining what My Big Toe is actually about. Okay, well, let's just talk about the title, My Big Toe. Um, the toe in My Big Toe is, is not one of the appendages uh, on my foot. It's a uh, uh, TOE, which is a, uh, you know, the letters standing for Theory of Everything. Theory of Everything was an idea that uh, started, I think, with Einstein uh, because the, we had his relativity plus uh, quantum mechanics, and those two had some some uh, trouble with each other you know each yeah. one kind of had a having had an assumption that the other one denied was true so they knew that there was something bigger some other understanding that was above that you know above uh, quantum mechanics and relativity from which you could derive both so neither one seemed to be like the top you know the top position. There was something else more fundamental that was mm -hmm. up above, and that was called then the toe, the theory of everything. But really what they meant about uh, for, by that was the theory of physics. You know, a theory of everything uh, as far as uh, this objective reality goes. But now my big toe is big because it's not just a theory of the objective world, theory of physics. It's a theory of everything. It's a, also a theory of the subjective world. Um, mind, consciousness. So yeah. it's a theory of consciousness as well. And it um, is, a, is a science that if once you understand it, then you can, you can understand yourself as far as your thoughts, your feelings, uh, you know, how happy are you? You know, how much anxiety do you have? You know, stress levels, all that sort of thing. You can actually understand where they come from and why you have those and what you can do to, to get rid of them. Science you can use, that you can apply to use yourself individually. Now, the my 
gets into it because if it's not your experience, you can't be your truth. And right. I wanted to point that out to people that this is based on my own experience and uh, my own experience over probably about 40 years now of researching consciousness and being a physicist. And that I don't suggest that anybody believe it hmm. because believing is part of the problem. You mm -hmm. should always remain skeptical. So I emphasize if it's not your experience, then it's not your truth. I, I do want to brush my audience up on the fact that uh, what you're positing in these books is that to our best knowledge and understanding currently, and we have things in our reality like video games and virtual reality, like the Oculus Rift, that give us an idea of what your theory is positing, that we are avatars in a situation, in a virtual reality, in a video game. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? That's right. That's uh, fundamentally, um, my theory boils down to we are, we, our bodies, our avatars, we are consciousness and the computer is consciousness. So consciousness is fundamental in my theory. It's the fundamental thing. Mm -hmm. Everything else, like this universe we call our physical reality, is virtual. Yeah. So when you dream, that's another virtual reality different than this one. Uh, so you're a piece of consciousness. I call that an individuated unit of consciousness. And you are playing this body, your body, uh, making all of its choices for it. So you tell you know that body what to do and when to do it. So you're you're the body's mind, if you will, mm -hmm. the body's consciousness. So that's how this comes out. And if you look at the virtual reality games, they work exactly the same way. The game No Man's Sky. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good one because it's it's computed in a similar way as our reality is computed and that is the what they call it procedural programming where everything is computed on the fly nothing is saved in memory and you only compute what that person is looking at what that person senses so if they see things and hear things you compute that when they turn their head and look another direction you compute that and mm. And what you had computed before, you don't save. If they turn back and look at that again, well, you recompute it. So everything's computed on the fly as it's needed. And that's basically the way this reality is done. So we are a piece of consciousness getting a data stream. The data that you're getting is, well, these days, uh, at least a million pixels on your monitor. Each pixel has a color and an intensity and a, and a location. And you look at those million pixels and you interpret those million little dots of light as rivers and streams and mountains and creatures and you know trees and other players. That's your interpretation of what those little dots of light mean. What we'll call source is what I call the larger consciousness system. Mm -hmm. That's just consciousness. That consciousness system can configure part of itself as a server to serve up this virtual reality. And we ourselves, we individuated units of consciousness are also a piece of that source. Okay, so think of a, think of a source that is consciousness, an information system. All right. I guess maybe I should have stated that consciousness is an information system. Okay, so think of that and then think that it takes a part of itself and turns that into a individual unit of consciousness. If you'd like to think of it in, in um, computer terms, think of it as like a virtual machine. 